What's going on, everybody? This your boy, Goku's Disciple. And today, we're going to have a long discussion about the ins and out and theories of the Omniverse tournament that's coming up in 2017. Now, this is a big deal. This is going to be a long tournament. So much could happen. Bear me with me real quick. I need to pull up the picture of the promo just to get motivated. Hold on. Dang it. Hold on, y'all. My bad. Dang, I should have this up before I started recording. Okay. How's everybody doing today? Where my real Dragon Ball fans at? Hold on, let me turn this down. Where my real Dragon Ball fans at? That ones that saw Goku versus O'Reilly... And Vegeta vs. O'Reilly and realize what a classic episode that was. The ones who appreciate those kind of episodes. The ones who appreciate Yamcha actually getting the center focus. You bitch all the time about how Yamcha's not useful. But when the episode comes along that makes him the center focus, you bitch about that. Make me motherfucking sick. But what, what, these, what these filler episodes have really shown me is that there's a difference between the casuals and the hardcores. The hardcores are reasonable, and the casual are just a bunch of bitching ass bitches. Well, enough of that. Let's talk about this tournament. Man, oh man. For Universe 7, we have Boo, Krillin, 1817. We have Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Masaroshi, Tien, and Piccolo. So that's like 10 people. And it's going to be 12 universes, so 10 times 12, that's 120. If everybody has matches, that's, that's 60 people fighting for round one. That's crazy. That's just round one. Man, that's why I said it's going to be a long tournament. Well, what you, here are some of the things I believe that's going to happen for this whole arc. One thing I think we'll be able to see is that there's going to be a conflict between the gods and the angels. I, I just have a feeling that Beerus is not going to let his brother... Universe just get wiped out. I feel like it's gonna bring conflict, and I feel like I feel like Beerus is gonna do something. I think Beerus might wild out on the whole tournament. But if Beerus doesn't wild out on the whole tournament, I feel like the gods of destruction, the other ones, we don't know their personalities. Yeah, they act right in front of the Omni King, but who knows? The first chance they get, they might just start swigging at each other. I mean, there are gods of destruction. They might look at each other like all oh, how Ch the way Champa and Beerus look at each other. They all might look at each other like that. It might not just be a brother thing with them. They might just all look at each other like, Who are you? You think you can destroy more shit than me? And Beerus, and Beerus already said that there's people out there more powerful than him. Besides, more powerful than him and Whis. He might have been talking about other gods of destruction. I can't go into real too many real details about that because I really don't know. I really don't even know what they look like. I really made this video probably like two months earlier, but I just have to get all this off my chest. It's a lie I have to go through. Another thing I believe we'll see is, I believe we'll see Goku finally get his blue, his blue gi, his in-game gi. Because if you remember, when he went to go see the um, Omni King for the first time, they were talking about Goku, are you dressed appropriately? I figured maybe his blue gi, maybe it matches his blue hair, maybe his blue gi is godly. I just have a feeling that Whis is going to give him a gi for the tournament. He is going to be the team captain. I know in the promo, in the promo advertisement shows Goku in the regular, his regular, um, his regular gi, but I really believe he's gonna get the blue, the blue gi not this time around. As far as we're talking about Team 7, here are some of the highlights that they were gonna see. I think Majin Buu is gonna shine. You know, everybody got they, you know, if you pay attention to the timeline of Super, it matches up with Z, except nothing Buu, Buu Saga related happened. We have Frieza Saga related, and we have Trunk Saga related, but we didn't have Boo Saga related. So who knows? Because I really don't think they're going to do anything after this tournament. After this tournament, I think it's going to be like, I think everybody's going to part ways. I mean, either way, you're involved in all 12 universes. At the beginning of Super, we were, not we, what's the word I'm looking for? We were, um... We were attracted to Super because Beer said there was 12 universes, so we thought Goku just gonna go all around 12 universes, just doing different shit. But if, they, if all they gonna do is like knock off most of these universes before Goku has a chance to um, visit them, 
I really feel like they just riding themselves in the hole. Like nobody, you, Goku can only do so much. There's nothing bigger than this. The only thing bigger than this is him taking on um, the king at all, and we know that's not gonna happen. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I like Tien, but I really don't see him doing good in the tournament. But I do see him going out in the blaze of glory. Like, I believe that Tien was gonna sacrifice himself, just like, just like he did. Well, like he tried to do against Cell. He's just going to go put all his energy in one blast and it's going to be amazing. Like, TN, he's not going to, I don't think he's going to last long, but I really, I really do look forward to seeing him fight. I think Master Roshi, he will, um, he'll be somebody stronger than him, but he won't win on his strength. He'll just beat them by being smarter than them. So, I don't know why people complain about Master Roshi. I mean, he is still Master Roshi. I mean, you put him in any other anime, he's still whooping ass. Who knows? We don't know how strong the other universes is. For all we know, Universe 7 might just be the strongest. Krillin? Krillin might do something. Whatever Krillin do, I believe it's going to be funny. I don't think it's going to be nothing too serious. 17 and 18, I expect... I don't really expect much from them, but I expect they're going to win their matches in a cool fashion. I really, I really can't wait to see 17 and 18 fight. 17 joining this tournament is like the highlight of the whole tournament for me. Like, I love the fact that we're seeing 17 fight again. Now, we all know, we all know what's, who's next. You know Gohan. Gohan is going to be truly amazing. I cannot wait for Gohan to do something spectacular. Like I told y'all, Gohan fans have been bitchy for almost two years. I cannot wait for Gohan to do something something amazing, so I ain't got to hear no more bitching. Uh, who else? Let's see. Vegeta. In my opinion, Vegeta's going to steal the show. Let me talk too much shit about Vegeta. Like, that how Goku's always better than him. They've been talking about how Goku's better than Vegeta since the beginning. Him and Goku have been going doing this back and forth, back and forth. I think Vegeta... Now, I, I said earlier, I think Beerus is going to snap on the whole arena. I think I think Vegeta might do something like, you know what, fuck all y'all. Because, you know, he's going to... Right now, we're going to have the gathering of the strongest. And Vegeta's going to try to show out. and like, yeah, I'm, I'm pissed at the saying. They know y'all don't want to fuck with me. And what else? Who else? Oh yeah, last but not least, Goku. I think this is. I think we're gonna be see a Goku that we've never seen before. Have you seen? Right now, the the latest episode is when Hit attacks Goku, and you see a new Goku. How he's all serious. I think Goku's gonna be really serious this tournament. I don't think he's gonna be that carefree laughing Goku. I think he's really gonna be on his P's and P's and Q's. I look forward to the type of Goku too, man. I can't wait. I'm really excited for this tournament, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Another another one of my prediction is I predict that Boma will finally be pregnant. I don't know if she's gonna be at the tournament, she probably will, but if she has at, is at the tournament, I believe she's gonna be pregnant. I mean, come on. This this is like this is too important. She has to get she has to get pregnant. We're getting too we're getting too close to the end game. Another one of my predictions is I predict Jocko will work security. That's right. You know, you know you gotta bring Jocko in. I can only, he's not gonna be able to fight. I don't think he's just gonna be in the stands. I think he's gonna be working security. I mean, we we got 12 universes standing together. Jocko's gonna play a major part somehow. I don't think he's just gonna be in the audience like last time. I think he's gonna be working security. I don't know what Goten and Trunks will be doing, but whatever they're gonna be doing is gonna be something stupid. I also predict in this arc, this Universal Survivor arc, I also predict that Ooh will get another mention. Like he did in um, the Universe 6 vs. 7 tournament. How they mentioned Oob in, Oob in episode 30. I believe they're going to mention Oob once again. I, believe, I also believe the arena will be planet sized. I think it's going to be planet sized arena because let's be honest. These, this, is, this, this is like so important. If, you, if your team loses, you your universe gets destroyed. So you're just not going to let your universe get destroyed. I believe this. I believe they're gonna fight on planet size, or uh, planet size arena, well, fighting ring. I think they're gonna teleport to a different location, and people are gonna watch from a distance because they can't. You can't. You're not gonna be able to like. You're not gonna be able to like go all out in the, on the ring. Like, what if someone steps? Someone. What if someone's out? What some? What if someone gets knocked out the ring? You got. You get knocked out the ring. So now your whole universe gets gone. Come on, man. They gotta do planet size. I hope I'm right. I was right about the planet size Dragon Balls before I seen them. I hope I'm right about the Dragon Ball size arena, cause that'd be perfect. Um, what else? I believe this arc 
we're on as as of this recording, we're on episode 71. I believe the arc will probably start around episode 76, and I believe it'll go to the mid 90s. I really believe this is gonna be. I believe this season, not this season, but this saga is gonna last probably until next fall. Cause this is like, for, you you have to realize if each universe has 10 people, that's 120 people. There's 120 people gathering to the fight. They're not all gonna be. They're not all gonna be fights off scene. I'm sure they're gonna. They have to do something because that's that's a lot of fights. I don't know what they're gonna do. One of my predictions is that it was not really predictions, more of a hope is. I hope they do. I hope they do team ups, like two people at a time, so they can hurry this up. Because well, we we can't watch that many fights. That's just that's ridiculous. They they can't do that. Um, some of the some of the teams I think that's gonna be lined up if they do do teams. I think some the possibility of Goku, Vegeta, Krillin 18, Tien and Piccolo, or Piccolo and Gohan, Masaroshi and Krillin. You know, just just to name a few. Okay, what else I got? Oh yeah, and y'all have to remember everything will be okay because they got the Super Dragon Balls. There is no way that they're gonna kill off 11 universes. Cause spoiler alert. Universe 7 is going to be okay at the end of the day. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I just know Universe 7 is going to be okay. Maybe they can do some shit that everybody, after after everybody's after everybody's universe get wiped out, maybe they can use the Super Dragon Balls to wish everybody back in the, in the 7th universe. Even the Gods of Destruction will have no choice but to come to the 7th universe. And since Beerus is, that's Beerus universe, they'll probably have to be all in the Beerus. That would be kind of cool. And that would, and that would um, ever late Beerus, and he'd probably become more serious. He'd be like the king of the um, king of the gods of destruction. That'd be kind of cool. But that's just that's just fan theory right there. Don't take that too serious. Another thing that I think I would happen. I, oh yeah, I didn't say this. I think this is the tournament that Piccolo is gonna go giant again. Man, you know Piccolo is gonna be. You know they, they they did Piccolo dirty in the last tournament. I know he's gonna shine too. I I, don't, I can't believe I forgot about him. But I think Piccolo is gonna turn giant. It's really too early to making this theory video, but I just had to do it. So basically, so that's it. So basically, I just got that this is gonna be a long ass arc. Um, this is end game. Um, I truly believe that after this, Goku won't be able to fight for a while. I think he'll go into retirement because I think he'll I think he'll push himself too far, and he'll be forced to use the Kaioken. Times twenty or times a hundred to um, do something. He won't be able to go. He won't be able to use God for him anymore. No he might not be even able to even go Super Saiyan. He might just be stuck in his base form. But he's gonna be powerful. But after this, man, they they gotta take a break, man. They've been they've been fighting for too long. I just don't see them doing this long ass this long ass tournament, possibly saving all the other universes, and then just go back to fighting some local guy comes down from space. Hey Goku, I challenge you. I just don't see that. They have to do a time skip. I always wanted them to do a time skip, but they ain't got no choice. They have to do a time skip. It only it only makes sense. Oh man, sorry about that. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but they have to do a time skip because the reason I wanted this universe tournament to be so far away because I wanted there to be a time skip in the first place before they even did it. If you look at my channel, you'll see that. On episode 41, when they brought up the tournament in the first place, I was like, whoa, man. I hope th I hope this tournament is a long way from now. I hope it's like 20, 20 or 30 episodes. And look at me, I'm right. I, I, I got something right. Hopefully, I'm right about this. I hope after this tournament, everybody takes a break from each other. I hope in that Goku's like, you know what? I love you guys, but I need to take a break. I'm tired. I hope Beers goes to sleep and we don't have to see him for a while. I hope Whis goes away for a while. I don't feel like seeing him, but he'll probably come down to Earth to eat every once in a while, but that's cool. Whis is alright. People talk shit about Whis, but Whis, Whis will beat your favorite anime character's ass, so watch him out. So that's basically it. I can't wait for this tournament. It's going to be long. I really look forward to the manga version of this. The manga version of the tournament. It looks like they're going to blow by the... the um, the black and um damn what's his name black and zamasu are it looks like they're gonna they gonna they gonna have they gonna rush through that shit which i don't mind and i, I will understand because if you look at the goku versus beerus fight that was only a few pages it wasn't like two or three chapters it was like 
a few pages, and then the fight start happening. So black and black is a monster. They ain't nothing special. So what else? Let me make sure I didn't I didn't miss anything. Uh, uh, no, that's it. I'm sorry if I rambled on, guys. If I if I missed anything, please tell me. And thanks to everybody that subscribes to me and shows me love. I, you guys make my day. I promise you by 2017 my um, videos will be a lot better. Uh, I'll probably have a camera by then. And a, and a real mic. Alright then, until next time guys, Goku Disciple out.